All right, here we go. So the intent of this video is to talk a little bit about MRSAT C and uh, and then show a demonstration of uh, how to build a tool that's going to decode some messages. And uh, to do that, I have a uh, laptop sitting here that I'm actually recording on because I'm outside to make this happen. It's got an RTL SDR version 3 plugged in uh, that's wired over to a um, MRSAT um, capable uh, antenna. Uh, there's a bias T. I'm going to turn the bias T on in the RTL SDR. And then uh, I, I've been out here so many times I can't even remember now. I, th I think it's pointed up at 98W. And um, and so so what does all this mean? Uh, this MRSAT C uh, should um, basically get us some messages that are meant uh, for maritime ship type stuff. You can read more about it on the Wikipedia page here. Uh, I'll put these links in here. I, I just came out here and then was looking for a, a presentation on uh, the satellite constellation and I uh, came across this pretty good uh, PDF here that breaks down uh, some information about the MRSAT C and uh, how this is set up and what kind of messages. I know I'm going through this fast, but I'll put the link and maybe this will this information will be helpful. So to get to what we really need to do, we need to build this tool. Uh, I am going to include it in the next release of Dragon OS now that I know it all works. And uh, but for this video, we're going to we'll go ahead and just do this right in the the home um, directory of live here. Okay, I'm back. I needed to get the other link. We need actually two tools, as I was saying. We're going to start with the MRSAT C library here, and I uh, just copy and paste this URL. Do a git clone. Pull that down, we'll go change directory, make a build directory, change into build, CMake, and then we'll do a make and however many cores you got. I'll do a sudo make install and sudo ld config. Okay, and we'll grab the uh, other tool here, which is the open source MRSAT C uh, command line interface decoder. We'll do a git clone of this. Basically, the same process, uh, although I just put it in the wrong. We'll do that again just to make that less confusing. I put it in the uh, other. Oh my goodness. No oh, wait a minute. Live. There we go. Change into STC. Make directory build. Change directory build. CMake. Ah, we need a sudo app dash git install lib audio file dev. Okay, we'll do the C make again. Okay, we'll do a make. And I won't install it for right now. I'll just run it straight from the directory. But what we need to do is, uh, let me think. We're going to, in this case, we're going to open up uh, Sig Digger because. Uh, not only do we have to uh, set a center freak, we need to get a audio. I wrote down some notes here so I don't forget. Um, basically, uh, an offset of the audio frequency. I think I'm saying that right. Um, and so, without using the Sky Tail C tool, which uh, I've not shown in this video, but I've talked about on Twitter, uh, I wanted to figure out how do I get that uh, offset easily without using um, without using uh, various other tools uh, so I found uh, uh, Sig Digger um, through some help from the developer uh, pretty much can get me everything I need so let's open up Sig Digger and 
we need to do, I want to try this, we need to do some device specific settings here. I need to add bias T true. Now this is the case when you're doing it with Soapy. And that's what SigDigger uses. If I was using uh, GQRX, it would be bias equals 1. <clears throat> so those are some differences there. And let me see. I'll probably take this to bump it up a little bit. Uh, and let's see if this gets us the bias T turned on. Does not look like that is the case. Okay, so let's see. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see. We're going to save this profile. Now normally if you, if you had an external bias T, you wouldn't have to really fool with any of this. Uh, I'm going to open it back up after I saved that profile. Okay, let's see. So that's probably the original profile. Oh. oh, maybe not. Let's try this again. Bias T uh, true. Bias T true. I'm going to get this. Okay, so now we have two listed there. Let's see. Alright, that's the one without the bias T. Let's try... Or... I'll flip back to the other one. Probably had the bias T on the whole time. I'm not even on the right frequency. So one five three seven. Should be seeing. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Well, that's probably my fault. Uh, I didn't have this set up to begin with. And we are looking for about this right here. We're going to turn on baseband audio preview. We're going to do USB. So it's USB. We got to do the demodulation USB, and then it ends up being BPSK after that. So let's see. I'm going to try and zoom in here under FFT. Should be able to use my mouse wheel too, but I see this one. No, nope, that's that one. Ah, freak zoom. Okay, so I wish you could actually like hear what this sounds like but I am trying to here we go centered on this try like that so it's a very unique sound that I'm hearing. Uh, let's see. So now we need to do channel inspection. And I'm going to open up a PSK inspector. And I want to go to the power spectrum. And let's see, I want to get a 
want to get the center of the frequency here. I don't know. I'm going to guess about there, it looks like. And if this is correct, this center frequency here, I'll just keep in mind, pretty much 1164 is what I'm going to use for the other tool we're about to open. So let's try this out. So we're in the directory. Let's see, how do we run the decoder? We can do... Actually, not the decoder yet, sorry. Demod. So we want to change the scent dash freak to we'll try we'll try 1164 1164 and we are taking source from the alsa and we'll go out dash udp let's try this okay now this program is probably not getting the audio from the right place. So if we come down here and we go to Mixer, and we go to, let me think, Recording, also plug in, so it's, you know, it's recording the wrong thing here. We need, let's see, SigDigger. Logitech, no, we want well there you go, now you can hear the sound so it's not playing through my headset and we want to take the this thing and probably either go monitor or built in. Let's see. Built in. I guess we want monitor. Monitor. Okay, we'll try that. Open up another window. I'm going to go into STD C, D E C. Go into the build directory. And now we want to do the demon. Nope, we want to do the decode, which we need to in dash UD, UDP. What we'll do dash dash verbose dash dash in dot UDP. We'll do out UDP. And if I don't start seeing something here soon, it's going to make me think that I don't have this set up right. So. How do we set the parser up? We'll do verbose in UDP out UDP and we'll do print all packets. So we'll let that sit for a second but uh, I suspect I don't have something set up right. Let's see. A second okay so that's right let me check this again Try 
sixteen sixteen nine hundred. Sounds better. Sixteen ninety, there we go. Let's try this. Ah, I actually had it. Let's see. Let's see if we still Just need to be patient. All right, there we go. So I know that took a little longer than I was thinking, but once I get better at that, I'll understand, you know, exactly uh, how to set the, the the frequency up, and then how to get that offset, and then quickly get this tool up and running this command line tool. But uh, uh, hopefully, here soon, this uh, would even be uh, automated with uh, maybe some other tools uh, that are in Dragon OS. Um, but for now, this is a great way to get up and running. You can visually see the signal that you're receiving. Uh, you can learn about the uh, the different inspect, uh, inspectors that uh, SigDigger has to offer and how to get in there and how to use some of those tools that I generally uh, don't or haven't uh, talked about uh, with SigDigger. And so I'm always about learning something new, and this is definitely um, pretty cool. And uh, I think it's one of the only ways that I can think of... Uh, you know, free, open source, all, all on Linux. I, I think there's going to be some other cool things coming soon that this will, will um, feed into. But uh, for now, there you go. You can get up and running with uh, this tool and start receiving uh, MRSAT uh, C messages. All right, thanks.